Hello everyone, today we would be talking about Thurston's Proof Factor Theory but before that I would just like to talk about the uh, UGC NET syllabus a little bit. So UGC NET syllabus uh, you would find intelligence in unit 6, thinking, intelligence and creativity and under intelligence what they have done is that they have given the name of the propounders, propounders of the psychologists but uh, what they haven't given is the name of the theory and what kind of theory they are so i've just made a quick little chart uh, which would make it easier for you to understand the name of the propounder what theory he has given or she has given or or uh, and also what kind of theory it is so the first theory it's uh, spearman spearman's two factor theory belongs to factor theories then comes thurston thurston's uh, group factor theory belongs to again factor theories then it's jensen jensen's theory of mental functioning belongs to cognitive theory then cattell gardner and sternberg different theories cattell's fluid fluid and crystallized intelligence theory, uh, Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence and Sternberg's Tarakak theory of intelligence all belong to cognitive theory. Then comes your Goldman. Goldman has given emotional intelligence theory. His full name is Daniel Goldman. Now coming to Das, Carr and Parilla. They have given past theory. Past theory uh, belongs to the neuropsychological theory of intelligence now let's move on to the thurston's group factor theory so what does l l thurston talks about in group factor theory is that it is um, so before that let me little bit talk about spearman's two factor theory there is another video on that spearman's two factor theory talked about a general factor that is common to all the tasks carried out by an individual and specific factors that help an individual deal with specific tasks. Now, Thurston's two-factor theory was actually challenged by, uh, sorry, Spearman's two-factor theory was actually challenged by uh, Thurston, who proposed that actually a general factor cannot be the only common factor as different pro uh, professions could not be put into one group. So he was saying that an individual may not have, may not have, may not have factors common to all intellectual abilities. Spearman had said there is a common factor. Thurston says there, there may not be a common factor which would be sufficing all, all intellectual abilities. But he said that there might be few abilities that are common to few activities. What he means is that there are few abilities suppose ability one ability two ability three and so on which would be common to a few activities that could be grouped suppose there are ability four ability five now ability two and ability five can be grouped so ability two plus ability five they make a group again ability three four and one can be grouped. So they make another factor. If this is group one, then this makes group two and so on. This is how he had formulated nine groups, nine factors. So actually the argument implied that there are other common factors which could overlap so if these are overlapping where would these go and so what thurston did he made a group of these overlapping common factors which resulted in the group factor 
theory. Coming to the first factor, which is the verbal factor. Verbal factor is concerned with verbal relations. Verbal relations. Words and ideas. Just remove these. Then the spatial factor. Spatial factors is relating to visualizing, visualizing shapes, rotation of objects, and pieces of puzzle fit together then you have the numerical factor so the numerical factor is ability to do numerical calculations rapidly and accurately numerical calculations Coming to the memory factor, memory factor is to ability to memorize quickly. Then comes word fluency factor. It is involved whenever the subject is asked to think of isolated words at a rapid rate. That's your word fluency factor. Then coming to the inductive reasoning. Basically, it is the ability to draw inferences. What is inferences? Conclusions. Conclusions on the basis of specific instances. This was inductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning is the ability to make use of generalized results. Coming to perceptual factors, it is the ability to perceive objects accurately. Problem solving, it is the ability to solve problems independently. So this was your group factor theory. Now, the group factor theory's most weakest aspect was that it discarded the concept of common factor it completely discarded the concept of common factor what was the criticism it discarded common factor But it did not actually take long for Thurston to realize that it was a mistake and he did reveal a general factor in addition to the all the group factors. So this was all his group factors and he did uh, make a addition of general factor. So this was your Thurston's group factor theory. If you have any uh, queries or problems then you can leave a comment down below or email me thank you so much for listening in